So I am Christine Charles, so I'm a professor at the Australian National University and I work in the Space Plasma Power and Propulsion Laboratory in the Research School of Physics and Engineering. Plasma is a hot ionized gas, it's actually the fourth state of matter, so we use the plasma state to create new types of plasma thrusters which will be the electric engines of the future spacecraft. So we are trying to explore the whole range of applications from nanosatellites to telecommunication satellites. So how is it going? Yeah? Good. 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 To explore this fundamental physics, you need to qualify your equipment in conditions similar to that you would find in space. In particular, you need vacuum tanks like these ones and much bigger thermal vacuum chambers such as the large Womba XL at Mount Stromlo. And with this equipment, you can design and test your engines, but you can also really carry out the fundamental plasma physics which is necessary to make these engines products for the space industry. This centre is definitely the only centre in Australia. It's actually rather unique. Maybe there might be one or two other similar uh, systems in the world, but it's really unique. And we did the design, the entire design, in collaboration with the astronomers, so we are quite proud of this. And we hope that this will become the 21st century centre for space and instrumentation development in Australia and also have an international impact. The concepts behind the new thrusters is really dealing with physics, but to develop such infrastructure and carry out the tests, you need engineers in space science, in vacuum science, in IT, in electrical engineering, all aspects of engineering. It's very important to combine the expertise because it's by combining the expertise that it opens new doors to new development in the future.